<laughs> What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I am sweaty as per usual out here. I've got smoke bombs in my bag. I'm with my homies. I got Mo Zuby, Malik Hinton. Both have YouTube channels that are linked down below. Go give them a follow, give them some likes, check them out. Anyway, we're here in downtown Plano, one of my all-time favorite local spots to meet. And we are gonna do some smoke mom photography in this nice little alleyway that we have right here behind me. Let's get to the good stuff. Bow, bow. Know that well what I know. I can't speak, but I don't. I don't stress how you feel. So I'm gonna do what I want. Know that well what I know. I don't speak, but I don't. I can't stress how you feel. So I'm gonna do what I want. I can't fight, I'm over that. That just feel like overkill. Okay, so not bad for the first attempt. Let's <laughs> try that again. <laughs> Trying to get this to be successful is a little difficult. Anyway, right now I'm on the 50, so I have to have you like super far away. It's like, I don't even know if it's in focus. Anyway, right now, really windy. Can't get the shot that I want. It's okay. Chalk it off. Sometimes that's what happens. We're going to do one last smoke bomb, one last spot, a little bit different than the last one, and let's see if we can get something good. Oh my god. 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 Really? Oh my god. 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 Yeah, you remember? When we was in Knoxville? Yeah, we got the shot. Yeah, we could use it, remember? Fuck, are you serious? I think that was, it wasn't meant to be. Oh my god, no, come on. Fucking rope. Damn it, I'm sorry. Oh my god. This is a cute picture. Yeah, we'll just take this photo here, I guess. Yes, picture. Wait, let me try. It's a dud. No, there's no way. I freaking, like, it's a dud. Like, I could see it, like. I see the, I see where it needs to fucking go. I wish I had like some pliers in my bag or something. Uh, be Gucci. I'm sorry. Dude, you're good. Don't even worry about it. This this has happened, so right? <laughs> if something if something isn't going wrong, you're not doing it right. <laughs> Pretty simple. <laughs> so hot, sweaty, broken smoke bomb. We're thriving. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Smoke bomb out. Regular Damn photo. It. Time for a regular photo shoot. Here we go. We're going back to the good stuff. What's going on YouTube? It's a couple of days later and I finally am able to sit down and go over some of these photos that we took and talk a little bit about the issues that we had when doing the smoke bombs and some small tips that might have come in handy before we went and did these. So let's just start off with smoke bombs were super cool. The colors are real crazy, like saturated. So like you're definitely gonna get a really great picture if you can control the wind factor. So one thing that we found out that it was super windy in that first alley that we decided to shoot in and it just, yeah, things just didn't work out the way that I wanted to. And it just made the smoke not stay so close together because we were in such a wide space, you know? we were trying to take into consideration not trying to be like too out in public and you know social distancing and whatnot but we were just you know trying to stay out of the way of other people so we wouldn't alarm people with our smoke and all that stuff so all that aside if you're gonna do them try to be in a tight corridor or a covered area that will keep the smoke in place second these smoke bombs get hot and we should have known that just kind of forget about stuff like that when you're just trying to get these pictures off. Something that I would try to do better next time is have somebody to hold the smoke bombs for me or for the model so that they're not having to worry about that and they could layer the smoke around them. And I think that would probably come up with a better 
picture and just give you a lot more clumps and stuff to like work with as a backdrop or just more texture in your photo. Just definitely try to bring extra hands to be able to control that as well. I think those things would have made the shoot better had we known to take care of all of that stuff. So if you're going to shoot, bring extra hands, be in a controlled place where there isn't a whole lot of wind, but you still want enough light if you're not shooting with a flash. So yeah. All right, let's move on to these pictures. I just picked out three. Uh, unfortunately, the smoke bomb pictures did not turn out the way that I wanted to, and there was only one, which would be this one right here. So yeah, this picture right here is actually funny because in the video you see us trying to set this smoke bomb off and we ended up not even getting it to go. The model pulled the pin too hard and it got stuck. So we jumped over to a few other pictures when we were taking those. My buddy Mo, he pulled the pin. He got the pin to come out and voila, we had smoke. And so we threw her this and then I didn't get any B-roll of that because I was just trying to get a picture. And this is the one we came up with. Pretty happy with that, with everything that happened. It, I think it's a pretty good picture. This one right here, super natural look. Uh, I was able to take a nice radial filter and darken everything around her to make the hallway seem like it was way deeper than it was, when in reality that was like only three feet behind her was the gate to get into the building. So, you know, we lucked out with the, with the light and where we were standing, where the sun was, to be able to pull a uh, good skin tone from you know, one light source coming into the hallway and nothing coming out. It was super cool. And then finally, this one is just a cool little, you know, personality headshot, nothing crazy. We walked across the street and she sat down on the sidewalk and, you know, green eyes with the trees. I thought it went well, so we just snapped that one off. Anyway, that's the uh, end of it. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm trying to get this channel up to a thousand subscribers. So if you can share this with your friends or suggest it, I would greatly appreciate that. Anything that you would like to see, don't be afraid to comment or direct message me on my Instagram and I will work on those videos. If it's tutorials or just questions, I can answer those as well. Or if there's just anything that you would like to see in particular um, from me. So anyway, thanks again and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Spilling pieces of a bullet, don't you know it? I'm the